guys, this is Freed, author of My Burnt Orange. How are you doing? Um, in case you didn't get the memo or you didn't notice last time, there is a baby on board and the baby's growing really fast. Um, well, this evening um, I am making soup. If you remember my mom's tilapia and prawn light soup, you know, um, this soup I'm making is going to be a fusion between that and a Vietnamese soup that I saw on Luke Nguyen's program. You know, I love Vietnamese food. I love other types of Asian foods. I feel like the flavors really, um, you know, they're, they're just flavors that we love in West Africa and in Ghana. So uh, this evening I'm doing um, Vietnamese inspired soup. Um, I couldn't find tilapia. You know, my market has gone haywire, my local market. But I got um, just a little bit of sea bass, 180 grams, 180 grams of king prawn. I've got um, shiitake mushrooms, which I love. You know, they're full of protein, so if you're a vegetarian, just do this recipe with the shiitake mushrooms. I've got spring onions which I'm just going to bruise. I'll show you how to do that. And I've got celery, celery sticks. I have some okra, which I've done a bit differently. Um, this time I've just finely sliced them, you know, like this. But, um, I took a picture so you can get a closer look, but I've just finely sliced them. I'm going to put them in towards the end. I've got... Um, Ginger, because I can't do without ginger, you know, I've got, you know, about two, two inches of ginger, which I've just bruised. I've got garlic, two cloves of garlic, which I'm just going to bruise, <sighs> just like that. Um, I have two tomatoes, which I've cut into wedges. I've got um, limes, I've got two limes and one little uh, clementine. Um, and I've got pepper as much as you want. I have um, in Luke's recipe he used half a cup of fish sauce. Um, I've just used an amount. Um, if I need more, I, I will use it, but I, I, it's not half a cup, it's more like a quarter cup. I've got fish stock. Um, it will be one and a half liters of fish stock. And the recipe requires a, a tablespoon of sugar, which I've, I've put in the fish stock already and dissolved. And I'm loving my herbs and, you know, the freshness of the herbs. So I've got a mixture of coriander and mint, which I'm going to put on top of my soup when I eat it. So hope you enjoy this video. Stay tuned for how it turns out. Here we are. I've got, um, I've decided to make my soup in my favorite electric wok because this wok, it means business and, you know, I just want to eat quick, so I'm doing it in here. So I've got my fish stock that I've brought to the boil and I'm just going to add in the sea bass, I'm going to put it here. And, you know, because the portions are so small, sea bass is so thin, um, I'm just going to throw everything in straight away, the prawns, and this won't take long at all. Of course, if you have fish on the bone like tilapia, um, you know, you allow it to cook a bit longer, but 10 minutes normally is quite enough. And, um, of course, um, I saw Luke talk about impurities on the soup, and I can see what what he means. So I just get rid of those as well because this is a clear soup. It's not like the light soup, you know, um, which was colored. It's clear. So you want it to look good. But uh, we've got that in there. And while it's boiling, I'll reduce it to a, a light simmer. Just going to prepare the shiitake mushrooms and really all I'm going for is chunks so I'm just going to cut them in, in half really into nice big chunks. So 
Just throw in the shiitake mushrooms. And add a nice stir. And I did say I would show you how to bruise the spring onions and um, note I'm only using the white parts. Ooh, one got away, but that's okay. Only using the white parts and I've washed them very well because the last thing I want is sand in my soup. So spring onions. Fantastic. I'm going to add in the tomatoes. And you realize in my mom's soup, I had um, added in the whole to tomatoes and then blended them after they were, they were cooked. But these, there'll be no blending here. These, I've just added um, the wedges. But uh, allow it to simmer lightly. Just give that a stir. Oh yes, and uh, definitely add your fish stock. All of that. Add your garlic and ginger. You want that definitely. Um, I will bruise one one chili. Um, this will probably require the smaller, hotter ones. Come on, guys. There's nothing like this dish without spice. So I'll save the other one. I'll chop it up. Um, and use it to sprinkle over my food. So throw in your vegetables. It's a nice healthy dish. Just give that a stir. And I'm going to allow that to simmer for about five minutes, five minutes just to cook a bit whilst I juice my limes and Clementine. Would you just look at how that's coming along? It just looks lovely and colorful. So I'm about to add my okra and lime, or let's just call it our, our citrus. And uh, then we're going in for the taste test. Just add that in. Stir that around. And adding in our lemon, sorry, lime and clementine juice. And just allow it to, to simmer. This is a, such a dent, gentle dish. I feel like there's hardly any action. But believe you me, I have no doubt that something wonderful is going on in there. And I've already got my bowl ready for taste testing. Here goes nothing. Heaven, heaven. Ah. I think I'm going to finish this entire pot. It is really good, it's very simple, and it's full of flavor. So enjoy.